All right, guys, I go by the name is Coast Prince, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So, apparently, it's um, Likon, former BB Ninja winner. Um, yeah, he discussed some of his struggles with um, Trudy. Um, some people don't know who Trudy is. Uh, Trudy is actually, is kind of like, I'll just say he's a media entrepreneur, you know. He's partnered with a guy called Debola Lagos, you know. For those, that's just the background story of two Trudy. But we are talking about Lekon here. Um, Lekon um, is a rapper too. I've reacted to several of his videos on my channel. You can check my channel, East Coast Springs, Lekon reactions. You see a lot of them. So Lekon is just um, sharing his life struggles outside the BB Ninja house with Trudy. I think this is just a clip of a very long video. But um, you have to pay to see the rest of the video. But this is just what you could get our hands on. So I'm just going to react to Lakon and let's see what he told Trudy in this short six minutes clip. Let's go. The best of the best, East Coast Springs. I know it's better than the rest. East Coast Springs, the rap in no one contest. East Coast Springs. I've been doing music since 2016. I've been releasing music since 2012. Ah, really? Yeah. So, you were, so you released music? In 2012. And then you still went to have a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in school then, so I was doing internships ah, in some right, right, some right. companies. Right. Because I felt like last, last now, <laughs> I still had to have background knowledge of things, how they play it out in these areas. And I just see there are just some things that I feel like my mind says, do them. Just do them. They are like, I'm going to learn about professional workplace uh, qualities. I'm going to have them. Okay. I'm never going to lose them. I might need them, I might not, but I will still have them. Mm -hmm. Rather than not having them, have them. Mm -hmm. I had spare time to do my music. Mm -hmm. I had spare time for school. The remaining spare time, I had already decided that in year one, second semester, social life is off of it because I got 3.6 in my first semester. I wasn't happy with it. Right. So he got 3.6 in his first semester. I was happy with it. I got it already 3.53, 2-1. Whether I can call it low or high, dude, is a 2-1. That's my business. He said 3.6. I wasn't happy with it. I was like, this guy is smart, bro. Man, that standard. Your standard is high, man. 3.6, I... Okay. Anyway, aside what he said about that, um, he talked about going to, going to do internship to get some knowledge on the workspace. Actually, um, I, I am in support of that mindset, really. I'm working 9 to 5, even though I don't plan to live my life, all my life doing 9 to 5. I'm currently working 9 to 5. And um, there's just this um, knowledge you get. Uh, you know, you have this discipline when you have been in that 9 to 5 space. You understand the work ethics, the structure of business. You understand how synergy works, how... Um, there's supposed to be a flow. You understand how to operate business. You understand um, interaction, corporate social um, interaction. You understand how to meet with people and handle people. Just that discipline and that knowledge that comes with having the experience of the work setting. I think that what Lekon is talking about here. Even though he never planned to be a nine to fiver, but he's talking about that experience he got from, you know, from being being an intern. For the period it was so let's continue so i had to not do social life or leave a social life in the university so the little time that i had i was like let me just go and do internships in companies wow. so i did that and when i left school but while then i still put out music in 2012 i put out music in 2013 mm -hmm. i put out an ep a major ep in 2016 yeah. which was actually something that got me recognition mm -hmm. to a certain extent mm -hmm. and it also helped shape me as an artist mm -hmm. which was when i met my manager right now wow. <laughs> oh, so 2014 yeah, yeah yeah since 2014 yeah oh, right, right, right. Temi gomez he has been right. i've known him since 2014 ah, right. yeah it looks like that that ep was what also gave you a lot of immediate credibility in the industry um, no i mean young black and gifted the ep in 2016 was it's just when people know. People know, oh yeah, this guy, yeah, yeah. Mm. But I feel like the one that actually made people say, yeah, who's this guy? Mm. Has to be Weasley Gone. Right. right. Or the song Fierce. Right. Yeah. That's the, the song Fierce, yeah. Chinko Ekwon reminisced. That song came out 2019. Yeah. 
the song blew up, but I didn't blow up with the song. Mm. You know what I struggle to, because I'm just thinking about it now, is, is it the first time, the first time I heard about you in the house, it was all that love triangle drama, <laughs> all that Eric Kaitisi drama. Mm -hmm. How did you get, so what I'm, I'm trying to think of you now, you that I've come to know after that, yeah. you that I'm affirming what I understand from your mind, yeah. and that whole drama, because and also something somebody needs to everybody needs to understand because I am naturally intelligent doesn't mean I am not human. Sorry about that. That's that's true. Like for the fact that he's is a, a smart person doesn't mean he can't get himself in an emotional drama and drama. You can see he was actually even using his intelligence, but. There's just a limit to which a human being can go, really. He was still trying to analyze it. You know, he couldn't run away from it, but, you know, some things just hit us like that, and those are the real proof of our strength, you know? So he was just, he was just in a space where he was practically helpless. He couldn't do anything from that situation. So let's listen. I can't love. Doesn't mean I can't show my emotions. Doesn't mean... I can't be hurt. Mm -hmm. That's, it's, I'm not, that's why I'm also trying to let people know that mm -hmm. I am who I am, mm -hmm. and a part of me is somebody who can get hurt. I can get hurt. Mm -hmm. You may not want to hurt me, mm -hmm. but I'll be hurt. Right. That doesn't make you a bad person if I get hurt by your actions. Mm -hmm. Your actions are genuinely pure, but if I'm hurt by it, it means I have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. True. That's also something that you as a human being will have to figure out that because somebody's actions hurt you doesn't mean that those actions are bad. They are intention of actions and then they are conclusion that comes out of those actions. It's a moral dilemma. It has been an ethical dilemma. Like, do you judge an action based on the intention or the result of the actions? Does the end justify the means or... What was that? When that thing happened? Everything is in there. It seemed like one... Look like a very it's using too much grammar basically but what he's just saying there basically is usually most of us judge judge a situation by the results and not by the intention of the person so i think the intention is what use is the right ideal thing to use to judge a person's action basically it was the person intending to do good and eventually it all went wrong or was the person intending for hurt or intending for bad and it's now went wrong and person, you know? So we're supposed to judge an action based on the intentions rather than the results. And that's what Lakon is talking about here. So, so that's just it. Let's listen. What's going on there? Yeah, well, for fears, I felt like, well, first off, I didn't do as much as I should have to put my face out there. Me uh, personally, I feel that. Right. Then, also, there's Remini is a heavyweight. There's Chinque a heavyweight. Yeah. Yeah. So people tend to like, gravitate oh yes, yeah, towards. gravitate towards them. Right. And then there were m music stations that played the song as Remini's song. Uh, <laughs> that's true. So what happened was I would go for shows, and then they would play the song, and people would know the song. Yeah. The people would sing the song word for word, probably rap my part yeah. word for word. But when they introduced me on that stage before yeah. they played that song, they wouldn't know who the person was. was. So they would what just does that feel like? Did that feel disappointing in the moment? No, at, at that point, me, I was happy now because they knew my song yeah. and it was going back to the streams. Okay. But yeah, yeah, there's still a bit of me that feels like they don't know who Lacon is, and I felt some type of way, which was why I named Do my who, next EP Who is, Lacon? Who is Lacon? What's the thing that you're most afraid of? Losing my mom. Oh, Everybody's afraid of that, bro. Everybody's afraid of losing losing their mom, man. That's crazy. That's scary. You know, a lot of people have gone through that and the pain, man. But it's something that is any inevitable. Basically, everybody dies, you know. But it's scary. Let's listen. Something I dread. Mm. Mm. Because you know it's going to happen at the point. Mm. Mm. That's mm. if. I don't leave before she does, but mm, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just one of the things that I dread. Another thing is that I, I another thing I'm probably as scared of is fear. 
itself. Tell me about that. Fear. And I'm, it's something I'm working on. Like I, I remember the book I told you I'm reading, it's about fear. Mm. And that book, I'm reading it because that's where you d discover that fear itself is an entity. Mm. Like when you're scared of something, mm -hmm. yeah. that thing, because it's not the thing you're scared of. Yeah. That thing that is making you be scared of that thing. Because it's only yeah, that. because becomes something. So that's another thing I'm scared of. Mm -hmm. Fear, the fear, fear of things, mm -hmm. fear of being scared. Because yeah. when you're scared, then you don't want to confront things. But when you're not scared, you confront it. And then you actually discover there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. It's just you. Thank you for joining our YouTube channel. I know, I hope um, you loved that video. You All right, so basically, um, let me talk about the last part where we talked about fear. When talking about fear being an entity, I think I get what he's saying there. Um, usually because of, usually we, when we are scared of stuff, it limits us to doing that stuff or challenging it. But now him is scared of being afraid of stuff. You understand? So because he's scared of having limitations, that's what Liko is saying, that he's scared of having limitations, he's scared of thinking of getting worried or scared of other things you know because those things will not limit you and you'll not be able to really attain those heights and the goal that you really want to attain yeah it happens to everybody really anyway this is like on this is a short snippet of the whole conversation everything is on watch with today.com you know i have to pay four dollars a month i think four dollars or five dollars a month to watch the full thing on this website but anyway guys this is the end of my reaction to Lakon's um, just an introspective view of his life after the living in Niger house and, and what he has been going through. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, hit the subscribe button. I'll go by the name is Close Prince and I'll see you in my next music video reaction. And with that being said, my people.